Wake that ass up early in the morning. The Breakfast Club. Morning, everybody. It's DJ MV Angela Yee, Charlemagne the Guy. We are the Breakfast Club. We got some special guests in the building. Yes, yes. two young men. Irv Gotti and Ja Rule. Yeah. Yay! There's a lot to talk to you guys about. You guys look so youthful all why the time. It, why are we always, it's always a lot to talk I've about. I've been waiting for these Because y'all guys. stay in the middle of some ish. I just have to say both Let's of say them. Let's say good-ish. It, sometimes, it good. sometimes good-ish. Good. Sometimes. You know I was on vacation. I was like, please don't book until I get back. <laughs> I'll be in the middle of all kind of shit. Let's, let's, <laughs> let's start with growing up hip hop first. Y'all on the, on the season of growing up hip hop? Yes. Yeah. Why? It's for yeah. the kids, man. Her it's for the is. fucking kids. The executive producer, you do your own <laughs> stuff. Why are you yeah. joining? It, it, it's just what I said. It's for the kids. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. growing up hip hop has a great angle. Mm -hmm. I do they, like that show. Mm -hmm. yeah. But the, it, it's a great angle. You know, Mona Scott, she called me wildin'. Irv, I've been trying to get you on on on, on loving hip hop for years. <laughs> right, right. He says she was like, "How did I get you?" I said, "Yo, how could you refuse your kids once they get right. JJ mm -hmm. and Angie and Brittany and Jeffrey? What are we gonna say? No, fuck our kids. The kids right. wanna be on the show, and it's kind of it's for the fucking right. kids, man. And plus, Irv, you on loving hip hop? Like, who are you dating right now? I ain't dating nobody. Yeah, I'm yeah, not so a loving hip hop yeah. candidate. <laughs> but you are executive producer. You have your own shows. I was like, why didn't Irv just shoot his own? It's, going it's, it's for the kids, Emmy. Damn it. Okay. Kids. If it kids. wasn't for the kids, you wouldn't have did it. Like if they nah, just if a reality show just calls us, mm -hmm. like it, it's probably gonna be a no. Right. You understand? But yo, my son JJ. Wanted this so bad. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, he started working out. He got yeah. fit. Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> like, he really, he wanted to be on it. That's right. funny. He, he did. And mm -hmm. the kids are on it more than the parents. Like, it's Absolutely. more kids, based they on. They drive the show. They drive the show. So what are the kids talking about? Because they didn't have to go through the, the, the struggles that you guys had to. It's we just had Queens. these just conversations, had conversations the other day. But yeah. they have to take Yo, the let bus. me tell you. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. And I'm going I'm to I'm just say this. They went to school and they made back. Yeah, but that's Listen, they have this their own struggles mm -hmm. and their own shit to fight through. The Wi-Fi didn't work? What struggles <laughs> do the kids have? All right, one one is living up to the expectations of their parents. Mm -hmm. That's a big That's a big thing for them. Right. Like, like, just think, envy your kids, mm -hmm. people probably think whatever they do or if they want to get into DJing or, or anything like right. that, they probably think they're naturally going to be good at it. None right. of his like, kids like, want to DJ. You know what I'm saying? But, <laughs> but, but, you know, but you know what I'm <laughs> saying. You know what I'm saying? It's, yeah. it's like the Michael Jordan syndrome right. for your kids. Mm -hmm. It's like, People just naturally think your kids are supposed to be good at whatever the fuck you did and you were great at. Right. And that's just not the case. So they get that that pressure on them, too, to be good or as good or better than their parents. And are that's a lot of pressure. Are any of your kids rappers? Yes. My son is uh, making some music and mm -hmm. he, he's doing his thing. Sinner. And my daughter, Sinner. She, she's, mm -hmm. a, uh, she's a screenwriter and an actress. She went to school. She's in Tales. She she's in Tales. Come on, uh, man. Come on, man. You know, you know <laughs> where she <laughs> went. Yeah, yeah. The real ain't you. Yeah, right. Just ask her. Just ask her. Just ask her. Yeah, she, nah. yeah she, she's a Hamptonian. She mm -hmm. just graduated. So. How you great know, is your son at rapping, and how do you critique him? Because that is still I, your son, so you know what's crazy, Ange? I don't, I ain't really heard none of his music. What? Why not? <laughs> because that's not a lot of confidence. I, I did know, a joint with him. I did because a joint with him. You did a joint with him. Gotti did a joint Yo, with him. And, it's, and you didn't hear it? Listen, I heard it. Yeah, I heard it. I sent it. I, I sent it. it to rule. It sounds good. It sounds and, good. And, and and yo, it's dope. But, and it, but it, it's, it's really dope, and it could work. It sounds good, and it could work. But the thing, I the thing I. What, you know, with me and my kids, Cinna is you know MXV. I want him to be him. Mm -hmm. I want them to be them. I want them to you know love whatever they want to love, be passionate about whatever they want to be passionate about, and go for it. See, that's what we're here for. I'm right. the crutch. So if you could go out and fuck up a little bit, whereas me and Gotti, we didn't have those options. Mm -hmm. We fuck up. It was back to the streets or army or whatever the fuck <laughs> options we was going to take. Right, but. They have better options, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Britney has a a, a a a a fucking degree to fall back on. Right. The rules going to college in September out in uh, Florida at full, full sale. So you know they have things to fall back on mm -hmm. if their dreams and passions don't fucking work. Right. Which is for me is, right. is 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 what's up. You know what I'm saying? I'm that's surprised. What, that's they, what we work off for. They both want to be in a light. Both family want to be in a light after seeing everything that dads went through. Yeah. Right. Like, they seen everything. All the that trials, attention the brings a lot of drama. You know what, you know what right. they see the most? What? Is the, 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 the good shit. You know what I'm saying? They right. living in the houses. They living in, they driving the cars. They, so they like, yo, 
Whatever else other shit comes with this, I'll take that. Right. Gotcha. Because this is this is what I want. I, I had you know a different mean? philosophy. I was more like how your sentiment with the kids or mm-hmm. whatever, like, you know, that's why he's he's the cooler dad when it comes it's to that. He's not cooler. I'm a, I'm I'm a, like, I'm fuck a hard, that. strong, strong Work hard. dad, but I just Work harder. I got different right? visions on how to And I didn't I didn't I didn't I, I chose my daughter Angie went to school. Mm-hmm. Because that's Deb's daughter, you know what I'm saying? So she's college, college. I chose a different route for my boys. Mm-hmm. I said, fuck college, and I took them with me. But if they wanted to go to college. Yeah, but they didn't know what they wanted to do. Mm-hmm. So you No know, kid does. Right. But go so, ahead. so I took them, I took them with me. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Well, I mean, it's a case in study or whatever. Yeah, I said, fuck college. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people going to be like, nah, that's a bad idea. All right. My, my, kids make, it's, it's, my kids make six figures. Parent, parents, your kids. I'm cheating doing, life, man? basically, mm-hmm. for my kids. Because and I'm, I agree with that. I agree cheat with life. cheating life. Because there's a lot of people that cheat life and help their kids. Why can't I help mine? White people cheat life. Okay, white it's people not, cheat life. It's not right. cheating life. Cheating it's life. It's not cheating life. Hey, hey, cheating you know what? I had not, here's a case leg of study. Up. They got a leg up here's already. Here's a case They're of study. doing what the fuck they supposed to be listen, doing. Listen, here's a case of study. You know this is saying? just an opinion, right? Mm-hmm. But I, I have a lot of billionaire friends. Big shout out to Hove. He's now an additional Big shout okay, to Hove yes, and yes, the billionaire friend. But I, I asked all my billionaire friends. Mark Lazary, he owns the Bucks, right? He's a very good friend of mine. Billion. I said, yo, Mark, man, I'm I'm having like, I'm fighting this. Did I do the wrong thing? Should I put my kids to college and everything? Every billionaire that I asked, I asked like five. They all came back, was like, what? Hell no, you did the right thing. <laughs> Not one said put him in college. This is real shit. <laughs> but I'm not be more lying than to one you. Right thing. There yo. could be more than one right thing because they could still be Trust on a great me. path if they go to college or if they don't. You yeah. just can't See, ever really. There's nothing it. wrong with I being agree. educated. I agree with. That, I'm that, not gonna that, say what I feel wrong with on being college. Educated, no, no. I would say I agree with Gotti. Mm-hmm. I, I agree that they should get education when they're in high school. But when it comes to college, if they want to go, absolutely positively. But there's nothing better than life. Nothing better than me creating. That's why I go so hard on real estate. I want to create that empire. So if they don't have to, if they don't know what they want to do, you take dad's job. You take. Right. That's what I'm, I'm bleeding for. Y'all. Hold on. I'm but stop on the real y'all. estate hold thing, on, hold on, hold on. I'm, I'm coming to fuck with y'all. you because I, I own a lot of shit. Too. Okay. And I was just on an ill joint last night with all the real estate niggas. But yo, hold up. <laughs> I want to say this to both of y'all because yes. I'm going to say y'all are both <laughs> fucking wrong. Right. <laughs> fuck I, you. No, fuck you. Y'all are both wrong, and I'm going to tell you why. Why? There was a time. When it was illegal for a black person to even fucking learn how to read. Correct. So why wouldn't you want your kids to be as smart as they can be? On both sides. You take we're talking about two years or four years out of their I, fucking I, I want long my kids, lives. I want my kids to, to be go. successful. They can be successful after they go fucking get educated. They can be successful and come and do without the same college. Shit I, that they're doing with dad. Right. I'm going to tell you one thing. They can just, go through the same shit right. after they go to college. And I'm going to piggyback up what Ja had to Man, say here crazy. because I'm going to say I this. I disagree. Because I went to college, but I also didn't have like parents that could help me in a field that I wanted to get help in. But one of the benefits of going to college is that alumni network. That's right. right. That and so I think about people like I went to Wesleyan. That network. Well, Miranda went there and he wrote Hamilton, right? That network. And so now I'm part of the committee that helps other kids get scholarships. That's the Hamilton uh, scholarship that I get to help choose who's going to get a full scholarship for four years. But aside from that, what I've learned is one of the benefits of going to college is that alumni network that you can tap into Absolutely. when you're like, I need this, I need that. Absolutely. You know, when people right. that graduated from your school are doing big right. things and you can just hit them up and right. get them yes. to write a check for you because and that's big. pledge Omega Sci-Fi. And that's big. Look what get I your ass Priority. Get your ass whipped for a year and you have a network. You know like, like I work, I work with is. the New York Public you know Library. The you president went to my college. From college. It's things so, like that. That you could call that mm-hmm. are doing successful shit. Absolutely no. You don't have no friends from Most of my friends are from Queens. I have not, not too you many people. You don't have people. no friends from college? Nah, but you know what else? You don't even have to be. You're in the same boat as me. You I don't know, no. I, our homies, that, that right? they, they all came from the hood like us. So we the niggas that made it. We the only niggas that can pull them up or do anything for them. Can Correct? I give a when true story? When you go to college, you have that. My that man's a lawyer. Dudes that are successful <laughs> and they're doing Hold on. Sick. Can what I give a true saying? story okay. real yeah. quick? <laughs> My man's a lawyer. I don't want to say his name because this isn't a good story. Okay. <laughs> right? <laughs> but he's a lawyer. Now, mm-hmm. you figure a lawyer is a high-level pro- profession that you go to school for. <laughs> He's a lawyer at BET. He's like one of the head lawyers. You might as well tell us his lawyer's name. Lawyer's not a dope guy. <laughs> no, you, you want to search <laughs> it out. No, that's not a dope guy. But, but, but wait a minute. Here's my point. I know, what he's, point. To say, I I know what he's about to say, too. I know what he's about to say, too. My man still owes his college exactly. thing. 
He's still in the hole like 40 grand. Yeah. So, one, it's like a huge setback. And I'm going to hold kids. it. I'm going to say something that, again, <laughs> may ruffle some feathers. Right. <laughs> but college usually promotes you to be a worker bee. Correct. Because what do you That's say correct. to someone the after they finish passion. their four years of college? Get a job. Correct. So it promotes you, go to college, and that's, be a worker. That's, but that's I also, school. That's institution. Probably. And I also feel like getting that's a job all, helps all, you all, learn how to run a business. And there's nothing wrong with having a job. No, if you what know my mom will say, is to what run a my nini would say is she gets angry and, like, real angry at me. Because she'll be like, Irv, you're special! <laughs> you're different! And she's like, <laughs> people aren't you. So they need that job. They need and school. I, and I see the thing is, I agree with Irv to, to a certain school. point. And some of these curriculums are so old that they haven't transformed to what's going on now. That's right. Like me going too. through, I went to my, took my daughter to college, so I went to 20 colleges. None of them have a real estate course. And if they do, it's one class. Right. Real estate is, is one of the biggest reasons why people are becoming billionaires. Right. right. Yeah. Coding. Yeah. Very little with coding. Yeah. Why? Because they don't care. It's back in the economics. You want to know what H2O is? You want to know what nitrogen is? Right. Nobody I've cares never about learned that shit. in my life. I've never had now, to use that in my life. Now, I I've agree never, with you I've on never, that, Envy. I've and never that's went. why I'm sending Little Rule to Full Sail. Mm -hmm. That's a, a dope college. It's that a he's, college he's, where he's, he's, he's excited it is to go a dope to college. because they specialize in tech. Music, Correct. entertainment. He's going there. So when he's going there, he's going to two years college that they you you get your four year degree in. Because you're actually going doing 14, 12 hour work days at school like you would do on the job in entertainment. Or he could get a degree from Harvard saying? in a week. Oh, yeah, Everybody yeah. getting degrees from Harvard. Everybody yeah. getting degrees from Harvard. I'm going to Harvard too. <laughs> yeah, but 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 I don't I disagree with you guys sitting here being successful with black men telling People who don't have these same opportunities or may not ever have the opportunities that we had. That school is not for them. They need school. Every black young man and woman needs fucking education. You're you right. You cannot You're right. get ahead in life if you are not educated. <laughs> period. Unless you can box and fuck I'm niggas just saying, up like Floyd Mayweather. I'm just saying Other school that, is not for everybody. And school is education is for everybody. Education is college is not for everybody. All right, so where do you go to get education? <laughs> I know college, I said college. There's a million places where you can go to education. All right, so you got to get educated. Or, I don't care for if it's instance, school, uh, 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 a fucking, uh, uh, one of those, uh, you know. Apprenticeship uh, program. One of those apprenticeship Fucking prison. Niggas go to prison and, and come home smarter than well, they Well, I wouldn't recommend going to prison. <laughs> 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 I, wouldn't I wouldn't recommend, recommend it either. That that's not what I'm I recommending. That. I wouldn't recommend that one. I'm not recommending it for him, but Malcolm X said some real shit. He said, he said, this, this, the, uh, outside of going to school, uh, uh, another place for a black man to go and find himself and learn is prison. And I didn't understand what the fuck he was talking about until I went to prison. Mm -hmm. Because when I went to prison, I had to sit down in a cell and fucking look at how the fuck did I get here in this position? You know what I'm saying? After all that I've been through, all the successes that I have, how the fuck did I end up in this cell? I guarantee you this, though. So I had to learn a lot about myself, Envy. And mm -hmm. you know what I learned? I was doing a lot of fucked up dumb shit. And when I learned that, I came home a different man. Mm -hmm. So so in, in, in the aspect, I, I realized, okay, I understand what Malcolm was talking about a little bit. For some people, they come home different. Some, some, people, some people come, come home, home a better criminal. Yeah. But, 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 the, <laughs> but the thing is, you got to understand what he was saying is, these are the only two places black men are fucking going. Mm. You understand? Mm -hmm. When he was coming up in his time and even right now in our time, what, what we got? I like school, but they have to change the curriculum because, like, what he said was they true. Gotta, they got it's, we like teach they, they, they teach you to be workers. The they, they don't teach they you to do. be entrepreneurs because we, we don't have need to teach half of the shit they teach you in and school. Exactly, and that's my and only that's thing facts. with that. I, I get that. I, I get you, that. Hold it, and you but know what's school, fucked up? But, Artificial intelligence is coming, <laughs> right? <laughs> so the working force, the worker bee, they're replacing you with a robot. This, which is going to make more homelessness. In America, than than we could possibly imagine. Absolutely. Listen, they said. By ask 20... ask anybody, right? Say how many months. Like we all good, right? But the normal person, you could ask him. Say how many months. If you lose your job, could you survive? Months. We just seen that right. motherfuckers was crying broke mm -hmm. after four See, weeks. A lot of people let check the government check. shut down. Check the Niggas check. Let's check the check. Right. Man. So when that that robot comes in, and that company switches over to some AI. People are gonna be homeless. Just think about how many people lost the world, their jobs. This world, listen, this world is turning, it's eliminating it is. the middle class. Mm -hmm. Just think how many people it's lost their jobs. It's, it's gonna be gone. rich 
and poor. Easy Pass. You know how many people lost their job from Easy Pass? Yeah. yeah. Remember, like, people yeah. used to and ain't no pay toll, somebody and ain't no toll workers. There's no, yeah. toll, anymore. no, toll, no toll, toll workers anymore. They, they're eliminating the trucking business. Truck, truck business, business is, is about, gone. To, be gone. Is about to be gone. gone. All them UPS people, mm-hmm. they, they, they're talking about it's going to be a robot that's going to deliver your mail. Yeah. There's going to be homelessness, people. So that's why even more so, I'm sorry, Rule. That's why I'm like, <laughs> yo, we got to get it. We got to be on. If 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 the world is if, if the world is rich or poor, if you're not but smart I, enough, you know. You but then I'm it. like, that's why we say we're going back to the kids, and I scream, y'all don't work. Because they, they, their backs are not against the wall. Right. But though a lot of people have different side gigs now, and that's something that we didn't grow up with people having, like opportunities to do multiple different things. Because yeah. it is an economy that we're in where most people now have more than one thing that they do. They might have like a main job, but then they have mm-hmm. other ways to have streams of income, too. It, it, I mean, it's, Which, a, it's, a, it's a shit ton of opportunity. And let's there, just call you know. it spade a spade. You don't have to be fucking very bright to be a rapper or a fucking entertainer. No. You understand what I'm saying? You can be dumb as a fucking rock. Not this day and age. Not this day and age. Not this day and age. Huh? Not, it's the truth. Huh? Not this day and age. Oh, right, I can name 15 dumb rappers right now. Go right, ahead. Absolutely. I don't want to shit on Don't name 15 dumb rappers. Do it. Do it. <laughs> but if you know what I'm talking about, man. Come on, man. And then this is making millions of dollars. You're right. All right. And they're not smart enough to... You know what I'm Shout saying. Shout out to man. all the dumb rappers making me. Yeah, so, get that money, my nigga. So, I'm mad at you wait, wait, hold saying. on. Urban Rule, I want to ask y'all something because you guys have been together for such a long time business-wise. Has there ever been a time that y'all was like, okay, I'm going to go here and you go here because it just feels no, like... No, we have our own... We have I our mean, own not just besides things. that, but has yeah. there been a time me, that... Me and Rule is like... A, completely him, different than anything yeah. that anyone has ever seen mm-hmm. in hip-hop. This, this is, is my a, brother. This yo, is a true you know this brothership. Is my nigga. I love this nigga. We've it doesn't been matter. Together and, 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 and see, here's the best thing. We've no never falling, had an argument. No falling out ever. We, never. Not really. We you never had a. We never had an argument. We disagree all the time. We're like the mm-hmm. odd couple. We have. We think mm-hmm. different, but we, we we love each other. It's not an argument. You know what I'm saying? It's disagreements or. I support different thoughts rule of opinions and shit unconditionally. Like that. But it's, it's, it's okay, not. did you support him during Fire Festival? We got I, yes. Yes. <laughs> Here we go. We was on the breakfast Hold club up. talking all this positive shit. Let's get to the fucking scandal. Yes, yes. Talk about this. We're talking festival. all this positive shit. good shit. Let's get to the bitches and hoes and scandals. <laughs> now, shit. what the hell was going on with the Fire Festival, Jack? I what, see that. What was it going on? What the hell did Jack get himself into? And then got the Say we can do this again next year. I just want to say I Let's thought see. I was going to the fire festival. You are. Trust me. <laughs> I was coming it, back. It's just what we call the fire festival. <laughs> okay. No, no. I'm actually see. Oh boy. It, yeah. Now nah, here's the here's the real <laughs> shit. And then the, no, this is and real yes, shit. I support and, rule and yes, I support rule. But even if you didn't festival. think it was a good idea, you never at one point no, was like. No, honestly, but the fire Billy, was an Billy, idea. Billy had me for it. That was a great idea. The fire yeah. festival was an amazing idea. Let's let's not let's not act like every fucking body wasn't coming to the fire festival. But it just was done. You think too. It was fucking done wrong. It, it was, was like, wrong, it was right. organized bad. The idea of it was dope. The marketing was dope. Everything was done very mm-hmm. right on that end. It just it wasn't. We didn't. Uh, yo, the execution I, was the bad. The execution was extremely Horrible. bad, man. When did you realize? Can I but, say no, something? No, the, no, before no, the festival. No, 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 you can't no, say no, shit. no. Before the festival, <laughs> what fire was mm-hmm. was a way <laughs> to get promoters and artists. We say you're a promoter no, and, 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 and yeah, was but the it was app. still fire, right? Yeah, it yeah, wasn't a festival. Was cool. This was cool creation fire. called Fire. Right. I was like, wow, rule, this is brilliant the app is dope. because it say you're a, a promoter idea. in Minnesota and you don't know how to get to Ja Rule. Right. You just go to the Fire app. It's a safe way Stop to do it. Stop saying Fire app. Icon is the new fucking. Well, thing. Icon, but I, it was a great idea. Shit, and my shit still works it, and people are still using it. I'm yeah, still it's a great. That is a great idea. day, all day. So and. And, and not for nothing, I'm headed out to a tech convention after I leave here right now. Did okay. you see the fire? The social documentary? innovation convention, huh? Did you see the documentary? I did not watch. Oh, good. <laughs> good. Because on that documentary. <laughs> I lived through it, MV. I don't need to watch it again. How did God they, damn how, first of all, how did they put your, your footage out there without clearing it? You know, I, that's still out. That's that's, that's that's we're still up there. And it's out there. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm trying, trying to, I may still have a lawsuit in the in the, in okay. the, in the way for that. No, but I, I you know, listen, man. I the whole fire <laughs> shit was fucking. There's some classic quotes on it's, there. It's crazy. <laughs> it's crazy. I had a, my quote on there that I said. <laughs> which just, one? Which one? Which one? I know what you're talking about. <laughs> it, what I wasn't even talking about that. I was talking about telling kids to get in the water. Tell the models to get in the fucking water. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I told. Get the fucking water. I don't pay you to talk. Get the fucking water. That one. Oh okay, my what, what, God. Nah, the best. The best. The best quote. <laughs> 
<laughs> no, it was the, it was the guy who was sucking cow. Andy King. Andy King. <laughs> Andy King That's was amazing. That's yeah, yes. his name? Yes. Come on, he has man. His own that guy's show a coming. star now. He's a superstar. He, he said, I, as I was <laughs> taking a shower, saying, I'm oh, really going to go blow this guy right. or whatever. I'm like, this guy that's is what happens when you're a, a worker, hell of a right? worker. <laughs> <laughs> I need him on my team. You know what <laughs> that's what happens when you go to college and you become a worker. <laughs> What's your relationship with Andy, man? I don't have a real relationship with Andy. I, I, you know, I met Andy, of course. I knew Andy, but I don't have a relationship with Andy. You know, this shit is... Andy went to college. <laughs> Andy went to college, and, and, and to he's, college. Andy's willing to take one for the team. Yeah. <laughs> he's a team player. He's, 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 he's the a, ultimate, he's ultimate team, team player. player. But when, when did you realize that things weren't about to work out? Was it? He when still the, didn't. They on the, yo, at the end of it, he was like, no, the just the, well, not, you not that. The, just the festival. When did you say, okay, this is the day I got the call? Is like, Ja, this shit. I was in Chicago. It's yeah. like I'm getting calls crazy. Like, Ja, this shit is not. Fucking go. Now, here, now, hold on. Here, I want everybody to understand something, right? So, the biggest thing about the festival, it was the biggest problem to me, was the tents. Mm -hmm. So, when I seen this, I'm like, yo, what the fuck are we doing with these tents? These are not the tents that were in the drawings. Right. Mm -hmm. I was told. Now, you got to understand it something. It was FEMA tents. No. You, oh, no, it wasn't FEMA tents. But, but, <laughs> it, yeah. FEMA tents. but you got to understand tents. something. You understand something. I was told, mm -hmm. Ja, these tents our, we sent out emails to everyone, and these tents are the tents that everybody's sleeping in. They know that. They mm -hmm. these oh, We boy. sent them the, you, know, you know what I'm saying? So these people are spending this kind of money. Right. You would think they wouldn't make this kind of fucking mistake. Mm -hmm. You understand? But they did. So now I'm told the emails went out to everyone, and, and only a few people wanted refunds. They know they're sleeping in these tents versus those tents. So I'm like, all right, cool. We got, we all, it's off and going. Right. Festival motherfucker sleeping tents. They do this type of shit in other festivals, this, that, and the third. So I'm like, all right, cool, we good. Mm -hmm. It wasn't good. When motherfuckers landed, they was like, what the fuck are these? And that's when all hell broke loose. Right. You know what I'm saying? So when I'm talking on the end of the shit, that's what I'm talking about when I'm saying it wasn't, uh, uh, what I say? It wasn't fraud, it's was false advertising. Yeah, it wasn't, because it wasn't my, fraud, employees, it was my employees are on there talking about this is fraud and this, that, and the third. And I'm like, hold, hold the fuck up. Because what I was told was emails were sent out to everybody. So this is not fraud. Maybe false advertising, maybe, mm -hmm. but not fraud. Fraud is the intention of not ever putting on a festival. Like me and, and Billy sat somewhere and said, listen, what we're going to do, guys? Mm -hmm. We're going to fucking do... That's never was the plan. We wanted to do an am I wanted to do an amazing fucking festival, and mm -hmm. I believe Billy did too. You understand? And and it just, it just didn't manifest to be that. But I what came out of that is mm -hmm. this. Smart people, not people who want to get on Instagram and make jokes, mm -hmm. but business people, motherfuckers who know money, is like, yo, this nigga was on some dope shit. It just wasn't fucking done right. Yeah. You had the wrong team with you. You had the wrong people with you. Ja, would you like to do this again? We're the right guys. You had your fucking finger on the pulse of the people. We'll make this shit right. Let's do it the right way. And I'm getting calls from the biggest motherfucking niggas who do festivals in the world. It's crazy. So you know what I did? Sure, I would like to do another festival and do it right because that's what I intended to do in the first fucking place. So let's do it the right way, make this shit blow it out. Now, here's the, here's the theory of so you my gonna festival. you going to do another festival. Ah, fuck yeah, and I'm going to kill it. <laughs> so let me tell you, here's the thing of my festival, what it was. I was doing a, a, a traveling festival and I was doing the fucking five elements of, of I don't know what it is, the elements of earth or whatever, I don't know the elements. So I was doing water, mm -hmm. fire, metal, wood, earth. My first element was water. You understand? My second element, I was going to go for wood. And when you think of wood, you think of the wood or whatever, but I was going to do it. I wanted to fucking try to pull it off right here in the concrete jungle in fucking Central Park. You understand? So I had all of these dope fucking ideas. Then I wanted to go to Iceland for another element. I had all these dope ideas, and, and, and trust me, the investors was like, we fucking love it. We've never heard or seen mm -hmm. anything like this. Ja, if we can pull this off, it'll be the dopest shit ever. It just wasn't pulled off. Ja, $20 million you, dollars was- I 50000 for a festival, and then you say, I'm gonna do this again? I ain't giving you another 50000 All right, that's you. <laughs> that's fine. That's, that's you. That's you. But, but, tickets. These was 50000 70000 Envy, understand something. <laughs> I wasn't the motherfucker that they were talking to at the end of the day. You understand? Mm -hmm. I was the nigga that came in and painted them the vision of what it's going to be, what I want to do. 
<laughs> and then they started talking to. If I lose 50 grand, I want, I want five minutes with everybody. You didn't give it to me. You didn't give the money to me, Envy. Mm -hmm. You didn't talk the business with me, Envy. You didn't do the deal with me, Envy. I wasn't the one sitting in the room with you saying, yo, I have this as collateral to give you if mm -hmm. this doesn't go right. You sat there and did that with Billy. So these people know the purity of Ja Rule. They're like, Ja was the motherfucker that had the vision, the idea. It was an ma amazing idea. Ja, we call, sat and did the business. people losers, Ja. No, who, who? Oh, in the documentary. Oh, documentary. I didn't call nobody losers. Yes, you did. I did not. That was Billy. See, you, no, you that was you. It was not me. Go listen to the audio. That, that was, was Billy. You on it the was boat. not me. It was Billy. Who that called losers? You said we gotta get these losers on this on this out here. <laughs> yes, you did. Who? Nah. Me? Who? Yes. I would never call nobody losers. Envy. Oh man, don't give me the clip. Let me see it, man. Because I've never seen it. It says, uh, let me see it. Hey, it hey, like hey, guys. Dream to you average loser. That wasn't me. Billy said that. You see what I'm saying? Right. Now recheck it again. Right. Recheck it again. And the, it, but you did, to, I didn't say that. Billy said that. I would never say something like that. You thought Billy had good intentions Tales, as well. Season two, <laughs> July. <laughs> no, no, but now here, no, but here's the thing. Tales here's the thing. Go, here's go, the go, thing. Go, go. July Billy, second. Even when Billy was saying that, you know who he's talking about? What? He's talking about. His fucking people, his, his audience, friends. the millennials. <laughs> He's talking about the niggas that he knows best. Mm -hmm. He's like, kids like me, we're selling a, this, and I know what he was talking about when he said it, because I was fucking sitting there. I remember when he said it. <laughs> He's talking about, he's like, kids like me, or people like me, that are not socially fucking cool, or mm -hmm. whatever, that are a little socially awkward. Uh, they're fucking, we're selling a dream to them that they can fuck models on the beach, which is not happening. Mm -hmm. So that's what he was saying. We're selling a pipe dream to basically kids like me, he was saying. That's the false it. advertising. Hey, listen. <laughs> listen. I'll say it again, yes. man. I'll say it over and over again. That was I, great advertising. I, 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 would, I, would never, I would never do anything. I was invited. I didn't go, though. I had me. was like, come on, Envy. I was like, ah. Was Nobody went, Envy. <laughs> what are you talking about? Now, the, the, the shit went belly up day fucking one. Yeah, man. it was Day one. Are you in so now, so now, here, here, now, here's the other thing you understand. Shit went belly up day one, right? <laughs> Millions of dollars went out to mm -hmm. pay all kinds of people. Artists got their first halves. All kinds of artists got more than first halves. Mm. You understand what I'm saying? You don't hear no artists. You hear any artists talking about, hey, fuck me with my money? You hear anybody saying that? Nope. Okay, then. Now, we're going to move on. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> now, fucking... Mm -hmm. Millions of dollars went out. Twenty something million dollars was spent trying to put this festival on. So millions of dollars went to everywhere, the Bahamas. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So now mm -hmm. shit goes belly up day one. What you think motherfuckers did that was supposed to make payments for weekend two festival and and day two of the festival and so forth and so on? What you think they did with the money? I don't know, mm -hmm. but obviously people are screaming they didn't get paid. Yep. So. I'm gonna say I don't know if it was all the way on our end that people didn't get paid because twenty fucking something million dollars went out of our accounts. So I don't know where the money went, but obviously people are pocketing money and doing things, and all of the fucking heat is coming back down on Ja Rule because I'm well, the only you're fucking the, name. You're the face of it. <laughs> you're the face and the voice of so it. So I get it. So I'm. T so you know I. Listen, man. Did you ever hear from the little, the little lady from I the Bahamas? The, the the. I feel so bad for the lady because, mm. like I'm saying, I'm. I, I don't disbelieve what she's saying. Right. I believe what happened to her happened to her. But I don't believe it came from us. You know what I'm saying? I believe money was given to whoever bohemian people was supposed to pay this woman. And when it went belly up on day one, it was like, man, listen, yeah. man. Mm. You understand what I'm saying? Right. This shit is a wrap. It's only, not going down. Only this money Andy that King can fix this. I, I, yo, man. I, only Andy King can fix this. I feel bad for only everybody Andy that was King. involved with the shit. <laughs> I really ain't even supposed to be talking about this shit. Billy, huh? You still speak to Billy? No. I have no conversations with Billy. I don't intend to have any conversations with Billy. You know what I'm saying? Billy, I'm, I'm you mad like he at lied Billy. To you? Yeah, he lied to me, man. But you he did lied think he had good intentions. Ways. He did a lot of. I, yo, you know what I think at the end of the day? I think I think he's a, he was a 20, 25 year old kid. Mm -hmm. And I think he was. He got in way over his head. And he was like, I hook a crook, I got to make this shit happen, however, and do whatever I got to do to you know what I'm saying? And that's where his mind went. And that's what he started doing. And 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 honestly, I don't know if he didn't tell me things he was doing to protect me or 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 maybe he was just that, mm -hmm. you know, like mm -hmm. I'm just gonna just do these things. You know what I'm saying? He opened up separate bank accounts, he did all kind of shit, you know what I'm saying? So I, I don't need to get into all the details. The right. feds and the, and the IRS and them people did all of that already. They fine tooth comb this thing and 
sent Billy to jail and Ja Rule sitting here doing an interview at the Breakfast Club. And now you have you know Icon. What I'm and now I have Icon. I rebranded my So so what any what any good businessman or, or, or entrepreneur would do, and, and you can look this up in the history of, of companies, the, some of the biggest companies in the world. Sometimes you gotta pivot. Sometimes you gotta fucking rebrand. Sometimes you gotta, you know what I'm saying, restructure your amazing idea or plan and put it, you know what I'm saying, into play in a different different way. And that's what I did. I rebranded my shit and, mm -hmm. you know, the app was an, an amazing app and and, and, and it's a it's a great thing for artists. Right. You know what I'm saying? You're cutting out the middleman. You know, it was you working. Work. We was on that platform. It's, it's dope. And it still works. I still get a lot of offers through the platform, through Icon. You can go to icon.me yep. right now, sign up. Artists can sign up. And it's good for artists because you ain't got to worry about motherfuckers dicking, dip, dipping in your pot. All of that money, it goes from the buyer goes from the buyer makes his offer, it goes straight to the artist and their team, and they can say, We want more money, we want less money, or get the fuck out of here. Either that, way. You let people get to you for a second, and I, I I didn't when it came out and everybody was getting at you, you was you started firing back at everybody for a little no, bit. No, because let me tell you something, Envy. There's one thing, you know, see, social media has given people a voice that maybe shouldn't have a voice. True. But what it's also done is it's given the artist a voice when they need to say, yo, motherfucker, it wasn't me. Right. You know what I'm saying? And here's my side of the story. And I don't need to, to get propped up in front of a microphone or or sit down with Gail King or any other funny shit to say, yo, this is my story and that's what it is. You know what I'm saying? And I don't need to say much more about it. And that's what I did. I just said, you know what? I'm going to just take the Twitter. I'm going to go out and say my what I, you know what I'm saying, what I need to say, and that's that. I said what I said, and that's it. I'm not going to sit back and talk to talk about it over and over and over and over, and over again. But now here's the thing that I want to bring to light, oh and boy. I'm like, yo, the crazy shit is when you look at what happened with my festival and everything, right? Here's what I say. Okay, when I look at the big picture, right? The big picture is rich, rich, rich mm -hmm. white kids, which is who my festival was geared uh -huh. towards didn't get the tents that they paid for and was promised. Correct. Okay. It's an issue, but it's not life or death. It's not, you know, money can be replaced. You know what I'm saying? These things can 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 be, you know, replaced. Now, I'm going to fast forward to Rolling Loud just last week. Mm -hmm. Or two weekends ago, whatever. Six people got murdered. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Little Wayne said, I'm not fucking performing because of police presence at the venue. Kodak Black got arrested at the venue. You know what I'm saying? The NBA young boy's car got shot up. His girl got shot. Why we ain't hearing nothing about the when when these documentaries coming out? You know what I'm saying? When it's when, when now I'm gonna make it a black or white thing because it feels like when it's black people being fucking ostracized and fucked over, it don't mean nothing. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. Right. But white kids that didn't get their tents that they fucking were promised and went on and partied. You know what I'm saying? In the thing. Yeah, and went on, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And went on and partied in Miami or went on and partied in the Bahamas. But they made two documentaries about this and I tried to make me fucking the black eye of festivals. You know what? And that? my festival wasn't even the worst festival. Niggas was getting raped at fucking uh in the mosh pits at fucking uh uh uh, uh what's the shit called? Um uh the shit they did, uh, star star what's what's it called, man? Woodstock. Woodstock. You understand what I'm saying? Like, so when I look at it in the nutshell of things, I know what it is. It's Great, it's you know media fodder. It's great for the sensationalism of it all, but the reality of it all is is it's a situation that you know can be worked out. Can be you know. You know what I want to ask last time y'all came up here, and, I, and we, we briefly touched on it. You know when y'all went through the trials and tribulations, and you was a, in court, and you got locked up. How were y'all able to stay financially good? A lot of people don't understand that. They only see the glitz of the game, and, they, and you know they see the, the, the spin and stuff, but well, you guys were able to stay. You didn't have to move out your house. No. You still got your crib in the city. How were y'all able to stay financially secure during all that, even when the industry tried to blackball y'all and box y'all out? How did y'all stay of financially? Records. That's one. You know we had I mean? a lot of money. We mm -hmm. had some money. I had some money stash. <laughs> we had, you know, but we may not have a lot of good records that, you know, is able to keep everything afloat, even if I'm not out there actually performing and moving around. You know what I mean? Those records, they... I played poker. They, they, bring, <laughs> they, poker. they bring they bring in money, you know what I'm saying? So I'm pretty I good. was able to stay afloat and do what I do, even though I was not able to earn when I was away in prison mm -hmm. and stuff like that, you know? So, you know, thank God for, for hip hop. Er, for you as a TV producer, did you feel like you had to reprove yourself before you could get other people to be like, okay, let's take a chance on Irv? Not only did I have to reprove, prove myself if it wasn't for Stephen Hill God bless Stephen Hill mm -hmm. 
a man never got on because I'm walking into these offices and I'm hitting them with all this passion and Irv Gotti energy and mm-hmm. everything. And the executives that I would meet with would be like, wow, you're, you're really passionate and you're brilliant. They would give me brilliant, but then wouldn't do no deal with me. And I just felt that when I left, they would Google me. Mm-hmm. And once you Google me, you're going to see negative stuff comes up. You're going to see me and Prem, and you're going to see some some real shit. You're going to understand that I beat the feds. So I had a cloud over my head. It's the when the feds come and do what they did to me. It not only uh, takes all of the money. That was our biggest issue. Right. It not only takes all your money and everything, but it puts a cloud over your head. Right. And as an executive going to meet other big executives, they don't, you know. And then I got, I had like hate. So after I leave the office, probably someone who hated me is calling him and said, Joe, you going to hire him? He's going to have the feds running up in your offices. Mm -hmm. And they will put that stigma on me. Mm -hmm. So that's why I said I thank God for Stephen Hill because Stephen Hill knew me. Mm -hmm. So when I went and pitched him tales, it wasn't Irv Gotti, let me Google him. He didn't have to Google me. He's known me for 20 plus years. And he just listened to the idea, said it was brilliant, Mm -hmm. and did a show with me. Now, once he does that show, and you know, I directed it, I produced it, I'm the production company, I created it, I do all of the music for it, like my name's all over it, so if the show has garners any success, there's no place to look but me, Mm -hmm. right? And that's what happened. And when that happened, now all the executives that was meeting with me that thought I was brilliant, it was like, man, look at what he did with BET. This guy has something here. So now we have Live Nation, me and Rule got three situations with Live Nation, the tour, the documentary, and the TV series. Big shout to Michael Rapino, my guy. Why'd you ever do it with Tidal? I never, you know, Jay launched Tidal. That's well, your guy. And I was like, why, did he, why, why never use that platform? Uh, it with all like title is great mm-hmm. right but title doesn't have as many subscribers as other things you know mm-hmm. so title helped me big time get over the hump because truth be told Stephen Hill only gave me a backdoor pilot. A backdoor pilot, ladies and gentlemen, is one episode. Mm-hmm. So I was like, fuck, I'm in the door, but I want more than one episode. And that's when I went to Sweet brother Numsi. Fuck out. <laughs> That's when I went to Hove and I was like, Hove, with title, I'll give you the second window. We'll make it rated R. Hove walks into a meeting with me and Stephen Hill and Endemar Shine. Yo, Hove don't get told no. Right. And he's like my ace in the hole for life. You right. know what I'm saying? So when he comes in the meeting, they're just excited. They got Hove. Mm-hmm. They're going to do some business right. with Hove. Right. So. True story, they looked at Hove and they said, so, Jay, what do you think we should do? And Jay told them, when God is creative like this, what we all need to do is give him what he wants and then get the fuck out of his way and just watch him go. And they turned to me and I said, well, we can't, if we got all of this energy in there, we can't do it with one episode. And they gave me eight episodes. Wow. But, so, title was connected, big shout you know, La Madrina, Des, you know what I'm saying, Desiree, shout out to whole one, all my title people, Rock Nation people. But it, st- it kind of, it stagnated the growth of the show because nobody could play it except title. Gotcha. And title, the one thing that they're, they're great, they're, they're a great company, but they need more subscribers, mm-hmm. right? So a lot of people would tell me they haven't seen it. Like, and I need that second window to be like kind of better than BET, which as we know, a lot of people don't have cable anymore. Right. You understand? So I needed that second window to be something. So this season, like I spoke to Hove and everything, and now it's just, I'm I'm free for the second window. That's why you could watch the first season of Tales on YouTube now. Right, right, right. You know what I'm saying? And I got to thank Hove for that because he said, Irv, I ain't going to stop. He understood. Gotcha. gotcha. And he didn't want to stop his brother. Go, go. Right. And when is, it, when is the next season start? Next season, July 2nd. July oh, 2nd. Yeah. July 2nd, yeah. only on <laughs> BET. And yeah. I wish I could make this announcement because I got a big, big announcement. But, you know, the people at Viacom and BET want them to make the announcement, and then I could run my mouth. But I will tell you this. Okay, I'm listening. <laughs> give us a hint. I will tell you this that they'll get mad at, but 
Fuck them, right? A little bit. <laughs> right, I say I love bit. you, but <laughs> I'm, I'm on the breakfast club, <laughs> right, right. right? I got to say something. <laughs> right. So the normal thing how we do tales, if you're a fan of tales, is I take existing songs mm -hmm. and turn them into movies. Right. So the season premiere, July 2nd, will be a two-hour season premiere mm -hmm. of a brand new record <laughs> Produced by me and my production partner, Seven, from a huge, yeah. huge, huge artist. I won't name the artist. You'll find out in the week Not going to tell us who. No hints. East Coast, West Coast, South, New York. Man, Midwest. woman. Midwest. Midwest. Controversial. Controversial. There's a million of them, man. Nah. Damn. The no, biggest, no. hugest artist. Eminem. No. You know we don't do yeah. shit. Uh, that yeah. guy. Yeah. Look, look, look. The biggest, hugest artist who's, the way left. The most, who's been the most controversial in the last year. Okay. Kanye West is going to be on the season premiere of there Tales. You go. Yeah. I didn't say it. I didn't say it. Kanye West will be the not, season not, premiere. Now, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's, let's what, say it right. What, what, what? He's not acting in it. But I have maybe a song. Oh, you wasn't God. supposed to say it's it. It's too late. Gave it up. DJ is terrible. It didn't have to be right. Hey, <laughs> be <laughs> fucking the cheekies. I know who not to tell secrets to. <laughs> yeah, Brand yeah. new song. God. Brand new song you I'm never heard old before. Old town, old town guy. And it's, it's hot. Dead. It's hot. Hold on. Kanye West, July we, second. We <laughs> didn't do my Earth guy. Jesus and seven, because he'll get mad. Jesus Christ. And it's a brand new record. And it's an a, a episode directed by me. No, and it's directed by her. <laughs> well, shout out to Viacom. Shout out to BET for that exclusive. Bob Back. <laughs> no, no. It's not going to be Poopy. Bob Poop, Backish. Right? Big shout out to Connie. <laughs> big shout out to Scott. Big shout out to my Bruce. My guy, uh, 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 Mike Sigmund. Oh, I'm just saying right now. My guy, Boyd. My guys. <laughs> I didn't say it. It's a real song, though, not Poopity Scoop. They're all no, sitting it's a real right song. Like okay. I won't give you the name of the song. We'll, they'll, they can but find that keep, out. But if you keep asking, he Jesus might. What is the name of the song? Keep pushing, keep pushing in me. What is the name? Keep pushing in me. I don't know the name, guys. Jesus Christ. It is a, it is a worldly, give us a hit, song. Give us a hit. World. <laughs> <laughs> and it's a worldly, brotherly song. Brother yeah. love. Yeah. 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 You're close. Yeah. You're close. <laughs> <laughs> two, what? Two syllables. Yeah. Two syllables. Before you get up. Yeah, it's good. Right. Right. Okay. okay. Like, What's the I word? The word is. This ain't getting water. I swear. Yo, I'm Listen, it's four yeah. weeks. Just say the shit. Just it's tell four them. weeks. Tell everybody. I didn't say it, BT. I didn't say it, Viacom. <laughs> DJ Envy did. <laughs> Everyone tune in July 2nd on the artist that I won't say his name. Kanye. Baby. <laughs> now, do you miss music at all? Do you miss He's producing yes. music now. And the reason I say that yes. is because. <laughs> <laughs> we see the success in all your artists, whether it was Ja, whether it was Lloyd, whether it's Ashanti, whether it's... Early Hove. Early Hove. Yeah. And everybody's still <laughs> out there Eps. touring and still working, DMX. Do you miss going back to that yes. and getting those new... So yes. When are you going to start back? No, I've, I have. I have, like, artists that I'm working on and everything like that. It's just that, like, one of my faults as a as a boss of a label mm -hmm. is I only wanted massive success, right? Mm -hmm. I should have put out Black Child album, let them sell three to five hundred. I should have put out. I just don't like putting out people unless I see the the world domination. I'm like the pinky in the brain guy. I, I just want world domination. Mm -hmm. So if I can't see world domination, I'm gonna wait till I see world domination. So you know, I'm working on artists now. I got a bunch of artists. I got like five artists that I'm working on. The newest one is Sinner. Mm -hmm. yeah. Center. <laughs> Yo, Center gonna like, do it. You're, you're not really. It. He's my artist. It's my son. It's not his artist. <laughs> Jairo, you're not really. I just want to say, Jairo, you're not Let's really selling. You're not really selling. Your herb is selling it. He's not. He's you're not like, either one of our artists. <laughs> Our kids are herbs. Artists. Listen, he's, he's definitely not herbs. No, I didn't say he's herbs. <laughs> I'm working like, with him. You see, this guy, yeah. just, yeah. just this guy, this guy likes though. to take everything. I can he's an artist. I'm working with. Josh said it's not me. That's my son. It's, it's not your artist. It's my artist. It's you know, all I good. Have my own artist too, with iconic sound. He has Murder Inc. We got all shit we put together. See, this one I was asking earlier. Do y'all have your own stuff that y'all took? Yeah. This is how we. But we're, but we're still together. We're still together. I got my shit. He got his shit. We put it together. It's but Santa's murder ink. 
No. 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 Sin is, <laughs> Sin is, Sin is MXV. MXV. Sin is MXV. MXV. That's what I'm MXV. saying. The kids got their own shit. He's trying to fucking. I'm not bulldogging it. I'm going to make it huge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen, <laughs> Sin is icon. Let the kids Sin do it. No, Sin is MXV. Slash icon slash murder ring. They got their own shit. Listen, listen, but Sinner got their own shit. Sinner has the opportunity. <laughs> I want Sinner to be the voice of all of the youth because he's in high school, right? And man, he got an energy record and everything. He's my son. <laughs> <laughs> He's great. His dad's son. So are we going to see him doing music on growing up hip hop? Is that what we'll see from Sinner? We'll see him st- like you'll see him starting. Mm-hmm. Not, you know what I'm saying? Like like getting his feet wet. You know what I'm saying? Does he want to do a song with Ja? No. Oh, my son? The, the, I, I, I don't even he's know. Not ready he's to an do a artist, song with yo. Dad he's an like, artist. Let me let me tell you some shit. Sinner. Let me tell you some shit. I like <laughs> I like I like the way you know Will Smith did his thing with with his kids. Mm-hmm. Let him fly. Yeah. Don't be a helicopter dad. Ti son. Don't be a bulldozer son, dad. Ti son, nice too. Though. Let him fucking fly, right. man. Because real talk, what we did ain't what they doing. Right. These niggas is on their own vibe, their own wavelength. Like. I'll be in there trying to say, yo, you should do this. And he's like, dad, that ain't what we on, man. Right. So you got to let them be on their own shit. Helicopter over here. <laughs> I do let he, him on their own <laughs> shit. No, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. <laughs> but he I, wants I'll to, say, stay like, on this path. Gotta move, gotta and nigga, you got to <laughs> listen, nigga. They gonna, I'm telling you, we old but school. But listen, I this love. This nigga don't even know all the hot new niggas Listen, right I now, love. You know no, I love. Fly, man. I, I'm not the old guy who hates on the young rappers. Right. No, I don't, because don't hate here, But here's my philosophy. Mm-hmm. When you think of our generation, what the fuck was a rapper going to say after our generation? What they saying now? We said, right, so they had to come up with something new and different. Mm -hmm. You wasn't going to out-rap Biggie or, Mm -hmm. you know, Pac, X, Nas. Nigga, Gotti, there's niggas niggas out there, nigga. J. Cole's nice. Kendrick's nice. You got to stop doing this, man. But they're not going to say, they're not going to say, they're not going to, and I'm not talking about Cole or Kendrick. I'm talking about the, 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 like, little pumps and, 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 uh, Triple X, Tintinsion, guys like that. That's when I step in and say Gotti don't got his, Finger and post, and me neither do I on all of these new niggas because there's new spitters out there. There's always the elite, I think. In every, there's there's always always I haven't heard, and there's always the other side. Exactly, in there's vibe niggas, niggas that's all right, but I haven't heard, I haven't heard there. like anyone like J. Cole. I don't really, I think personally, J. Cole's, J. Cole's the hottest nigga in the game, mm-hmm. right. But he's what, like thirty something. Probably. He's like thirty, in his thirties. So I don't, I don't feel he's like in. He's the, not in the younger he's generation. Middle, yeah, but he's, he he's came in that after middle. us. You just said mm-hmm. coming after us. He came after our generation. But he still, he came after he's, he he's came like, after he's like, he he's like pop. us. So I'm saying as far as like, my nigga like, like, like the <laughs> young, school, young, <laughs> the young, young guys. But I love what they're doing <laughs> because they figured out creatively to do something different than what the the, the last yeah. generation is doing. And they got their own shit. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, the older guys should appreciate that. They do. We should, because isn't hip hop at its biggest height right now? It's like 80% yeah. Yeah. of music. A uh, uh, stream, this hip hop, yeah. biggest genre, biggest it's genre, amazing. Biggest it's genre. pop music, it's pop music, yeah. And, hey, it's on their watch now. Mm-hmm. Now, granted, each generation built it up to that, and and we pushed it another level, another. But come on, they ain't drop it, and hip hop can never get dropped. It's like hip hop. When you think movement, of hip hop, right? right? Mm-hmm. Hip hop is like the best thing that's ever happened. I agree. It's the best thing that's I ever mean, happened because not only together. did it bring forth wealth, it brought black, white, Spanish, everyone. It brings them mm-hmm. together. You know what I'm saying? I can't. I I would like to think like in 20 years the world is gonna be really good because all of the old school racists should be out of there. Their kids really ain't on it like that. They Shit. they're going to Rolling Loud. This is why or whatever. Trump is in office. He's trying to bring it back. Trump man. is the last of the Mohicans, <laughs> right. and when he goes, but he's it's like yeah. he's trying to teach. He's trying to put it. Yeah, out. yeah. But I think I think the world. I'm praying the world will be a, a better place. Like mm-hmm. we just was talking about. I'm we watch too. when 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 they see us, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and I, it hurt me. That shit was woo. bad. Did y'all see it? Yeah, everybody. It hurt me. Hurt me bad. You didn't see it. It hurt me. Uh, make sure you got a you bottle. Got kids. Uh, I, I started watching it. Uh, it's hard. Don't watch it drinking because you might attack your TV. One because I got kids. 
and two because I lived through it. I yeah. actually remember it. Yeah, I remember it too. But, remember but that. you know what? But when I remember it too. But but when it happened, when it when we was when it was really happened, I didn't really like most things in life at that point. I ain't give a fuck, mm -mm. right? But watching it and me being an older, more mature thinking type person, when I seen it, yo, it physically hurt me. Yeah. And like I, I, I didn't like it. It was. It made me wanna hate. It made me hate white people. It, it, it was, nah, it made, I don't. It I don't bad. do that. No, did, I don't, no, no listen. I don't. I don't. I don't like yeah. to do that. No, you know why? Because in every race and in everything, people, it's yeah. bad and good. Right. Bad so whenever I see something, I tell myself that that. Like all white people aren't like that Linda bitch. Absolutely, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. They're Yo, not like that, ooh, right? Because if they was, oh, we're we all we're fucked, we right? The world is fucked. But it made me hate her to the point where I want her to suffer. Yeah, mm -hmm. because she drove and openly, even the cops who was in, interrogating these 14 year old to 16 year old boys. That shit is crazy. Like I hated the dude's pops for telling him to say whatever they want. Right. Like I was but like, they none, no, they, none they of these no kids though. had any knowledge. Just said, yo, can I? I want to talk to a lawyer. Not one scene did I hear the word lawyer from the parents no. or the they children. Had no, clue. no knowledge. Like they're not. That's if sad. you charging me with a crime, arrest me and lock me up. If not, I ain't talking to you. Mm -hmm. I ain't. And that goes for any kids. If you don't know the law, or anything, and y'all get stopped, and they telling you to confess to something, Ask for don't say nothing and say I need to speak to my lawyer. Period. That Anyone who's crazy. listening, please, mm -hmm. because that shit hurt my heart. It was mm -hmm. like, yo. The parents didn't do that either. No. They probably thinking, oh, we're good. They're good kids. They're not going to get into any situations. They didn't do it. Yeah, yeah, but the dad would... was basically right. saying, tell them what, what they, they said. Yeah, they're them saying they your son to say he raped the girl. You're saying to say that yeah. and sign it? What are you fucking crazy? Yeah, that's crazy. That's why mm -hmm. I was thinking. And it hurt. It hurt me. It physically hurt me, yo, where I, I, wanted, I wanted bad things to happen mm -hmm. to those to the people Absolutely. responsible. Mm -hmm. And and then you think about, okay, you see a cop on camera kill a black person and they get off. Right. Yep. They're in court and there's no DNA, there's no physical evidence, it's nothing. They're all saying that these people was coerced and that's why they made the statement guilty. Yeah. Right. And it just makes you like, what the fuck? What is our justice system here? I want them to suffer like Corey suffered. No, no you understand? The president never apologized. Never said I'm sorry. Never, never said, said I was bad. wrong. Never I'm sorry. Well, the president that. that we have now is like, he's an asshole. Yeah. He was him back then. Yeah. Yeah. He just got a whole asshole. ad in the paper about the kids. Yeah, he's an ass. He's he's like, it's incredible. It is. Now, let me ask you guys this for growing up hip hop. When does the new season start? The new season starts. What's the exact date? Yeah, what's the date? I know July 2nd is Tales, so but July 2nd is Growing <laughs> grow Up Hip Hop. Featuring Kanye. Hey, someone give us the fucking date. <laughs> and let's talk about the other they cast members. It's coming. <laughs> Charlie Baltimore's on there, right? Is Chuck she is on there. Charlie yeah. Baltimore, Chuck, our girl Chuck is on there. That must be a nice reunion there. for you guys. Yeah, yeah. Chuck, is, Chuck, Chuck is great. Cool. Mm -hmm. Shit, man, I love Chuck. Now Chuck you, is great. You cool with Ashanti, and y'all do a lot of shows. Yeah. Have y'all had y'all conversation in? No. But you gotta said, make that happen, man. No, but listen, what I like to say oh in regards with Ashanti <laughs> is that I am way in a different space. Like, is life is great? God is blessing me, so I'm not thinking about anything in the past that brings up a bad feeling mm -hmm. or whatever. So y'all can have a conversation. We can have a kumbaya, a murdering Good. kumbaya moment. You gotta make with that happen, Ashanti, hey, with listen, Lloyd. It's, listen, it's, and people nobody's, ask... Nobody's against... No one's against it, nothing. Please. And listen, like people say, like with Lloyd, I have said things with Lloyd. Lloyd asked me to do his TV One doc. Yeah, I, I saw it. you on I there. did it. Mm -hmm. No no ifs, ands, or buts. Lloyd it. also it is working. coming up in this uh, Bobby DeBarge movie. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. right? And what people don't know is the people who produced that is Swirl Films, which is my crew and my boys, mm -hmm. and they asked me, "Yo, we want to cap. Yo, fuck with him, yeah. and mm -hmm. he's dope." So, so not only doing a documentary where I'll be seen supporting something that he's doing, but even behind the scenes when I could have been the Irv Gotti, nah, shut that down. No, I supported then as well. You know what I'm saying? The only thing is like. This is a tough thing because even with my documentary and Rose documentary that we're doing on Murder Rink, what do you want me to say? Right. So if you ask me a question about 2001 to 2004, what am I to say? 
But that's why. Is I, she on the documentary? I would love to see the Murder Inc. documentary so. and then mm-hmm. after Murder Inc. tour. And it's the tour first, then the documentary, then the TV series. But the, is everybody on the tour? Yeah, yes. yeah. That's what we well, want. We right. want everybody. So we we still working all of that out. Even you know, Caddy. Talk to everybody mm-hmm. still. You know, I have my issues with Caddy or whatever like that. What's Caddy? What's Caddy like town now? He's, he's somewhere. Caddy's out in Jersey somewhere. He's, he's somewhere. somewhere. <laughs> I mean, we don't. I don't talk right. to him, but I hope he's I doing I good. I Milford, mm-hmm. New Jersey. I hope he's, he's doing Jersey. good he's or whatever. Yeah. We would like him yeah. to come on the tour mm-hmm. and be a part of it. And me and Rule, if we could talk about the tour, okay, like the tour, we're not. We're giving our fans something that they're going to remember. We're trying to, that for the rest of their lives. Mm-hmm. This tour isn't just going to be people on stage performing, opening acts and mm-hmm. things. We're trying to tell the full murdering story. So imagine if it was like you've seen a play and we're going to use the TV screens and theatrics. Maybe when it's around the time that the feds roll in, maybe the feds is going to come rushing the stage and grab Got it, got it, got it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. But if you do that... You know, Hold on, Envy. You got two start. syllables. Like, like that. <laughs> <laughs> two, uh, <laughs> you got to start with Mike G, though. You got, that's the beginning. We was talking about You got to start Geronimo. with Mike G, Mike Geronimo. That, we was, that was the beginning. We was absolutely talking about that and bring Bringing someone out like Mike is part of the story. Doing it's real, maybe mm-hmm. doing it's time to build, mm-hmm. but that would take a lot because that was for. Well, let me let me two syllables, two, two syllables, syllables, two syllables. <laughs> right, right. So, but, but what we're what we're trying to do is bring our audience and the people who was murdering fans. They're gonna see something that they're gonna go home and they're gonna be like, wow. They're gonna learn some shit on the tour. They're gonna they're gonna see a story told intertwined with music. We just something don't want to do. We don't want to do the re- people have seen a million tours. We don't right. want to do that. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like Kanye, like when you think of tours, when he had that floating stage, that was spectacular. Kanye, July second, tales. Yes, go don't ahead. forget tales. <laughs> <laughs> And I got the date. Uh, he's the whistleblower. June 13th on June th- oh, that's TV. Soon. Wait, okay. it starts June 13th? That's like that's next week. We're still shooting. Oh, you're still shooting? Oh, shit. Yeah, uh, it's it good, though. It starts next week? It starts next week. June 13th. June 13th. We, we TV. TV. That's what it says, right? Big shout out to my huh? guy, Josh Sapin. He runs AMC Networks. I'm wrong. September, September 5th. 5th. I'm wrong. Evie, what the hell is wrong with you? How did you get that date? I do but it said... All right, September 5th. That's and September and 5th and is and more like so executive wrong. producers on that as well. well. Thank you guys for joining us. Yes. And we for look sure. forward to seeing a new season of Growing Up Hip Hop and, of course, Tales with Kanye West, July 2nd. <laughs> we can't forget yeah. that day. Worldwide exclusive. <laughs> Kanye, this is all envy. He's yeah. the one saying your name. And the name oh, is as much as this. Yeah. Two syllables. Two <laughs> syllables. <laughs> <laughs> all right, it's The Breakfast Club. It's Irv Gotti and Ja Rule. Yeah. <laughs> 